Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. This is Timothy from Cognito Academy, and in this video, we will be learning the three Newton laws of motion. Newton's first law of motion states that an object will continue its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless the resultant force acts on it. In layman terms, if the resultant force on an object is zero, its speed and direction will remain the same. In this scenario, assuming a frictionless surface, a ball moves on a tabletop at constant speed. Let's stop the ball and break down its component forces. There are two forces acting on the ball, its weight and the normal contact force on the ball by the table. These two forces are equal in magnitude, hence they cancel each other out. Hence, resultant force acting on the ball is zero and the ball will continue its uniform motion in a straight line. Newton's second law of motion states that the resultant force on an object is the product of its mass and its acceleration. I have to emphasize that the force that is causing the acceleration of the object isn't just any force, but the net result or resultant of all the forces acting on the object. The direction of acceleration of the object follows the direction of the resultant force on the object. Say we have a 4kg steel ball at rest on this tabletop. A passing wind pushes the ball towards the right with a force of 10 newtons, with a frictional force of 2 newtons acting against it. Find the acceleration of the ball. We know that Newton's second law states that the mass of the ball multiplied by its acceleration will give us the resultant force acting on the ball. So first, we will need to find the resultant force acting on the ball, which is 8 newtons to the right. With the value of this resultant force, and because we know the mass of the ball, the acceleration on the ball is simply 8 newtons divided by 4 kilograms, which will give us an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared to the right. Newton's third law of motion states that if body A exerts a force AB on body B, body B will exert an equal and opposite force BA on body A. In layman term, if the blue ball exerts a force towards the right on the pink ball, the pink ball will also exert an equal and opposite force towards the left back on the blue ball. These two forces are commonly known as action-reaction forces. In this scenario, the car drives towards the steel ball and collides with it. The two arrows show the action-reaction forces. Action-reaction pairs have the following characteristics. And as we can see, both forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Action-reaction pairs must also act on different objects, and as such, they do not cancel each other out. The black arrow is acting on the ball, while the blue arrow is acting on the car. Lastly, they are both the same type of forces, both being contact forces. In this scenario, the ball is resting on the tabletop, so let's try to identify the action-reaction forces. Forces acting on the ball are its weight and the normal contact force exerted by the tabletop. So are they action-reaction forces? Let's check it against the four characteristics of action-reaction forces. They both have equal magnitude, are opposite in direction. However, they do not act on different objects. In fact, both the weight and the normal contact force acts on the ball, cancelling each other out. And they aren't the same type of forces either, with weight being a gravitational force and normal contact force being a contact force. So, what are the action-reaction forces? Weight of the ball is essentially the gravitational force acting on the ball by the earth. So the reaction force will just be the gravitational force acting on the earth by the ball. Both forces are similar in magnitude and opposite in direction. They both act on different objects as well. One gravitational force acting on the ball, which is the weight of the ball, and the other gravitational force acting on the earth. They are both the same type of forces as well with both being gravitational forces. This wraps up our video on the Newton's laws of motion. If you liked this video and found it helpful, do like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for more content. And also feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below. With that, see you!